and welcome to 90.3 WMSC Upper Montclair. This is the Monday Buzz. I'm Cam Martin. Alongside me is Joe Verga. Hey. Cassandra DeFerio. Hello. Ali Mario is here. I am here. I'm trying to connect. And in the other studio, of course, we have Megan O'Neill. Hello, hello. Today, it's our last show. No. All together. Oh gosh. I know someone had to say it. And you know, why not be why not the villain of the of the entire Monday Buzz? <laughs> the villain? Is yeah. that what he would have done to himself? I, I am the he's villain. Of, that, yes. I am the villain of the Monday Buzz, respectfully. I mean, I mean respectable. I mean, yeah. Most respectable villain, thank you. <laughs> you no, know, it, it's been it's been a fun semester, but we you know as per usual, we got a lot to talk about for the next two hours. So Buckle up because we are going to be in for a wild ride. And if, if you're like the if you're like the imaginary friend, you, you might want to hang on to something. What? what? I think that was supposed to be a reference, right? Inside out reference. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. uh I think yeah, I think yeah. 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 For those of you who aren't on Zoom, we're doing it. We we are all dressed up like the different emotions from inside out. Um, I'm Shoot. wearing yellow under my gray sweatshirt. Thank you. Respectfully. I'm wearing blue for sadness. I'm wearing green for disgust. I'm wearing purple for fear. And obviously, Cam is anger. Uh, uh, it's obvious reason. Of course, he's anger. <laughs> for, obvious reasons, that, for, obvious, <laughs> for obvious reasons. For obvious reasons. For obvious reasons. Yeah. yeah he's like, he's, Cam, I could, Cam was just like, all you, all you pick a color. That I, I, right. Yeah. I literally, I, literally, I, literally, I literally had no choice. But like. You it, don't. It, this, exactly. <laughs> you don't. You, you literally <laughs> don't. <laughs> but uh, you know what? Let me see. Let me get saved real quick. Allie. Hey. How you doing? Can I get a newscast, please? Of course you can. Yay. Good morning, everybody. My name is Ali Rario, and on this, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Monday, I am joining you from 90.3 WMSC Upper Montclair. In international news, in Russia, they are celebrating their annual Victory Day military parade today. This parade has been celebrated since the Soviet Union beat Nazi Germany and celebrated to show Russian strength and determination. However, since losing a great deal of money due to the ongoing war in Ukraine, the parade is going to be scaled down by nearly 35% because they do not have proper funding. In national news, thousands of people have been evacuated from their homes due to ongoing wildfires in New Mexico. This fire has been burning for over a month now and continues to spread due to record high temperatures, high winds, and dry conditions in the state. As of Saturday, the fire has burned over 267 miles of land, and many schools and businesses have been forced to shut down. In regional news, New York's Governor Kathy Hochul tested positive for COVID-19 on Sunday. She announced that she is vaccinated and boosted and has had no symptoms so far. COVID cases across the country have been rising recently due to the removal of mask mandates in several areas. Lastly, for some weather, it is currently 45 degrees outside and sunny. Today is predicted to have a low of 45 and a high of 67. It should be sunny all throughout the day, and that sunshine is going to carry over until Thursday, when it will be partly cloudy. Then this weekend will unfortunately be filled with some scattered rain showers and thunderstorms. Thank you, and back to you, Cam. You know what I hate? What? Why does it get warm the last week of the semester? I know. Like, I know. I know. Like, really? Really? Like, are you serious, my brother? It's, a, it's just the last one of these. Honestly, it's the last, just one last one of those. You're number one. You're, you're number one. You're number one. You're number one. And Look, you're yeah. number one. Like it, it's crazy, but you know, you know, you know, what makes me feel better. Sports. Of course, it does. Yes, of course. So yes, yeah, Megan, can I get a sports cast? Yes, you can. For the NBA second round, there is a question for each of the eight teams. But this morning, I will only talk about one player. That has the most important. That is the most important at this moment for the Sixers. Uh, is, is it Joel Embiid? Mm, you'll see in a second. Who Ooh. knows? Um, who should be the next number two option for the Sixers? So overall, anyone who is still pining for the return of James Harden shouldn't waste their time anymore. He's not looking like he's coming back, even if he popped off occasionally, like he did in Game Four with the what was it 31 points yeah 31 points he had we're not talking about uh houston harden the brooklyn uh nets harden just he's been dusted off he's gone uh so most likely that is gone as well how many more times can joel Embiid plead for philly harden to play his game into media void if you think about it, Joel Embiid loves Harden and wants to hype him up as much as possible for the Sixers because it was such a big deal for him. That's his guy. Exactly. 
Um, so however, Harden's game is now interesting because he's not shooting as much, but he's going ISO all day. And if those who don't know what the ISO is, it's isolation plays. I looked it up almost positive. That's what it is. Yep, isolation. Yep. Cool. Um, the style that, uh, this style does not appear to be in Harden's makeup anymore. Even after game four's 31 points outburst, he has yet to attempt 20 shots in any game with Philly. Um, which is insane given how many times that routine has happened in Houston when he was there. Uh, therefore, as long as the Sixers are alive in the playoffs, their best chance is to lie with Harden making plays for others and primarily Tyrese Maxey, who is for the most better or for the worst for Philly's most efficient players, willing shooter after Joel Embiid. That's all I have for you for the first hour of the sports. Now, now back to you, Cam. And listen, I'm a Miami Heat fan, so that kind of hurt me last night. I know. But at the same time, seeing Harden, I, I think overall his presence, he's just really there to me, be, be a playmaker for the team. And yes. Even in Houston Harden, he literally had – it was literally just him. Like It really was. Who, who, who was the second guy? I couldn't tell you. He like, was the only one. Chris Paul for a year? Dwight, Dwight Howard for a few years? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. No. But that's 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 uh, swept under the rug. But uh, hey, Joe. Yeah. So we got some uh, some hard hard stuff to talk about. So uh, we we'll, we'll, want we'll to start off the conversation about what's going on with Russia. Sure thing. Uh, we do have more sanctions on Russia. The U.S., European Union, and group of seven nations will impose additional sanctions on Russia aimed at their state-controlled media, elites, and services that help finance the war in Ukraine. The announcement came as Biden met virtually. With leaders of the G7 to and, buy your <laughs> and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to reinforce their shared committee to strengthening the war torn country's position on the battlefield and all the neg negotiating table. The G7 consists of the US, Britain, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, and Canada. The US will sanction three of Russia's most viewed state controlled television stations Joint Stock Company Channel One Russia. Television station Russia One and joint stock company NTV Broadcasting Company. The reason is that the stations have been among the largest recipients of foreign revenue, which naturally feeds the Russian economy. The administration will also prohibit U.S. individuals from providing accounting, co corporate formation, or management consultation services to anyone in Russia. This was done to limit key services to Moscow companies and elites whose wealth generate revenue for Russia and who are trying to hide that money to evade sanctions. Additionally, the U.S. will further restrict Russian exploits by sanctioning Protokeltomologia, yeah, a company that produces rifles and other weapons used in military operations in Ukraine, as well as seven shipping companies and a marine towing company. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission will also suspend licenses for the export of certain nuclear materials to Russia. The G7 has also committed to f phasing out or banning Russia on oil imports and vowed to work alongside the U.S. to ensure stable global energy supplies. <clears throat> so, a lot of news. Whole lot of that. Yeah. First things first, Ali, you won the bet. Congratulations. Thank you. But secondly, just what like Russia, Russia, Russia has to understand, bro. Like y'all, y'all ain't gonna get any funding no more. Mm -mm. Like the there's no there's no there, there's no what there's no version this we come out on top. I don't think they care though. I, I really, yeah, I really don't think they, they really don't. I think if anything, their solution is gonna be okay. Let's go at this with a militaristic approach. They don't. That's yeah. what they do with like, everything. They go like full force without like if they happen oh. to have things in their way they just don't care i think yeah they don't oh, care. I know, but I'm listen it's gonna sooner, sooner let it down the line it's, it's gonna it's gonna drain them out no, yeah. no matter what like it's gonna yo they're, they're gonna pay for this eventually yeah but the only question is how long and will we have enough time to make them see that before it happens that's a good point but the i don't think i don't Honestly, just just based on how how much ru ru the Russia funding is, Russian military funding is second highest in the world, I believe. I, it's up there. I know it's it, up there. It is very up there. Yes. Obviously, we're not, well, light years light years ahead, but like we're, it's up there. But it's like, no matter which way you look at it, 
there's no way there's no version of this that Russia can really just okay, cool. We're cool with that. Mm-hmm. We could, no. Yeah, no. You can't win this. I'm sorry to say, you can't win this no matter what. You, you got what? Seven countries? Yeah. That go the basis that yeah, you're bugging. Stop it. I actually haven't heard of the G7 before right now, actually. Yeah, same. Uh, well, I've obviously read this before, but like I didn't know that like something existed. Um to like with like the seven of them. It, it sounds about right because you gotta think that the nations that the the nations that are involved are the 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 the, the, the home run hitters. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to break into sports. This is like this is like playing it's like playing MLB the show Diamond Dynasty. You got mm-hmm. you got the top seven guys. Those, those those are home run hitters right there. True. Like if if you had a lineup like like that that's your, those are the guys you do not want to mess with. If you have the dinner table, those are the heads of the table. And there's only two heads of the table like that. No. So this is so this is a pentagon. No, a septagon. Septagon. Yes. Septagon. Yeah. This is a seven head like you sit there seven, seven headed table like th- th- those are some those are some dogs now Russia of course if it'll be if it was not to gone then Russia would get a seat too but like no it's literally those seven and that's it those seven like no those 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 are those are those are, those are, those are mean brothers yes. those are mean brothers yes. I am very curious to see how long this is going to continue to go on for because yeah. it's already been going on for what, a month and a half now. Maybe no, two, it feels two like months. Two months. It has. It's been also a section of the uh, invasion. The war. invasion. War. Like uh, the, yeah. it's definitely been going on for a while because uh, back when back, the, February. back yeah, February. yeah back in February because uh, it was a hundred days on the day that they brought the people talking uh, about yeah. Ukraine um, that. I'm not sure if we put the story out, but when that happened, when they came, uh, they said in the speech that it was February 24th. Oh, Thank you. Oh, yeah. So it's been almost three months. Well, like it's been two and a half. half yeah. Yes. But like, it's just like, how much longer can this really go on for? But, I mean, you see in textbooks in when you're growing up, how some years or how some wars have lasted for so many years. And yeah. like, is this going to be one of them? Yeah. Like, you know, I'll- is this going to take like five years well, first of all, if it take, take, well, first of all, if it takes years, shout out to Ukraine. Yes. <laughs> if it takes years, shout out to Ukraine for that. The time and patience for that one. What yeah. I'm saying, like, for, for them to fight, to not even not give a stronghold, for them to fight back like that, yo, shout out to y'all. Right. I got that. To give like a comparison, the war in the Middle East took 20 years, so oh, yeah, shout out. Like, if, if, if it takes some years, like, just see how Russia's army is? Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> and, like, when conflicts start, like obviously, I don't think either side will want them to go more than like than what they want. Yeah, so like it is gonna be interesting, like Ali said, to like see how long this is gonna go. What is it? Uh, if the sanctions. Yeah, are no, but at the end, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I always believe this. You could every 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 scenario in life could be dealt with by just talking, just communicating. Explain like uh, if if Putin was able to sit down with Zelensky. And it's just have it's have that conversation. Uh, it's just really it's all about conversation. If you're but he can't though because he's so power hungry. Oh no! Yeah. Like I'm not defending his actions. Oh no! Anyway, right. I'm, I'm saying like saying if, if 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 Putin if Putin and this what I say is may is not reflect the station. If Putin is able just to sit down somewhere and not get not get his ego in the way all the time, maybe maybe things will get done. I mean, didn't didn't they have talks before the invasion? They weren't successful. I mean, obviously, but oh, yes, they had talks. Isaiah said, but you I think, think the talks were very much like Vladimir Putin was like, "Do this or else." And Zelensky's obviously... like, "No." Mm-hmm. Zelensky just said, "LOL, no." <laughs> Lolo. But, yeah, like it's not a. It's a matter of listen. You, you're, they're independent nations for a reason. You don't own them anymore. So stop it. Get some help. <laughs> stop it. Get some help. Stop it. Get some help. Speaking of, it's moving on. To, and speaking of uh, battles, <laughs> you, you you can't transition from, from no. stop yeah, it. I get was some waiting help. to see how you were gonna yeah. manage this. Speaking and of battles, it's time for a I would fail. say well, another hard L. Stuff. I would say it's second L of the morning. Already, that. we just it's, like add, it's not even that. Sheesh. We add we'll another up to anger. Fourteen minutes in, Kim's already got two L's. I'm, I'm yeah. throw, we're I'm going back to the first show. We gotta love this. The first show. I'm about to throw shoes. I'm about to throw shoes. Exactly. Well, yeah, speaking of conflicts and battles, we have been dealing with a lot of stuff here at home. And I'm not, it's just like, what is going on, bro? 
So the next battle is over access to abortion, and we'll focus on the pills. For a 32-year-old South Dakota woman, it took two trips over state lines, navigating icy roads and a patchwork of state laws to get abortion pills last year. For abortion seekers like her, such journeys, along with pills sent to the mail, will grow in importance if the Supreme Court follows through with its leaked draft op- option opinion that it will overturn the landmark Roe v. Wade. But anti-abortion activists and politicians said those cross-border trips, remote doctors, consultations, and pill deliveries are what they will try to stop next. Mary Zeigler, Mary Zeigler, a professor at Florida State University College of Law who specializes in reproductive rights, says, quote, medication abortion will be where access to abortion is decided. That's going to be the battleground that decides how enforceable abortion bans are. The FDA lifted a long-standing requirement that women are that women pick up abortion pills in person. Federal regulations now allow mail delivery nationwide. Even so, 19 states have passed laws requiring medical clinication to physical present when abortion pills are administered to a patient. South Dakota is one of them, joining several states including Texas, Kentucky, Arkansas, Ohio, Tennessee, and Oklahoma, where Republicans have moved to further restrict access to abortion pills in recent months. Besides crossing state lines, women can also turn to international online pharmacies, says Greer Donnelly, a professor specializing in reproductive health, healthcare at the University of Pittsburgh Law School. Some women are also having prescribed pills forwarded through states without restrictions. Abortion law experts say that it's an unsettled question whether states can restrict access to abortion pills in the wake of the FDA's decision. First off, those states, I'm not surprised. Yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised with those states whatsoever. Yeah, me either. No, yeah. it just—it's crazy. You think about the United States, and a lot of people think that the United States is such this progressive nation where people can come for opportunity and come to be free, more or less. Mm-hmm. But it's not. And this nation as a whole is just regressing and going back to where it was years ago, and it's just completely unfair. And obviously, people have their own opinions about this stuff, and it's a very touchy subject. But for me personally, like. It's so enraging to see. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Listen, the thing is, if 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 you're a guy and you're not and you don't like you have if you're a dude, you have no say on how how a woman should be. Like you have no say on how how woman how woman how woman's body should be. Zero. Exactly. Like zero. What gives you a right? What gives you the right to be like, oh yeah, no, you can't do that. No. Literally. Like no one. You you're not going through it. Let them let them live their life. Let them do them. You're not you're not in control. Yeah, I don't like that. It yeah. Mm-mm. Like it, it just one of those things that just it just grinds my gears. Like it doesn't it's no. same. No, it get it gets me heated in a sense because it just it just thinking about it. Ugh, I'm gonna go off on a tangent and we got time. Oh, pop gonna, off. Oh, pop, pop off. off, pop okay. off. Okay. So just yes. just thinking about it, I'm gonna just be completely honest with you. Throughout the years of all of us being alive and everything. It's always been the men over the women. The men have always been the one that have to say what the women can do out of every little detail of their lives. Now, as women are coming up and becoming higher than some of these men, and they're not liking that. So having the chance to have the um, option of what you want to do with your own body, but then having these guys tell you like, oh, no, I'm not doing that. You have no say. Are you the one having the baby? No. Mm-hmm. that's it right there like i oh i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it down because i i'm gonna scream in two seconds no, I know. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> just like overall it's just very frustrating to know that we still have to deal with people like guys in this world still bossing us around and telling us what to do with our own body when really they're not the ones that have to carry it for nine months if we want to carry it for nine months yep. Listen, if they have an issue with it, you know, it works both ways. You can, you can, you, you can not, you can just not do it at all. Right. Like, exactly. Like, if, if you're going to regulate the woman, yo, regulate, regulate what you do. Right. And I'm sorry, but banning abortion and overturning Roe v. Wade, it's just going to make women seek out yeah. other yes. options that are exactly dangerous. Not right. It. <sighs> it, it's basically, it's basically, it's basically politics. Basically, the men trying to say, yeah, you know, we're not gonna, not gonna, not gonna fund this. 
You're, you're, be, you're, put, you're putting it's men that don't want to get their power taken from them, exactly the exactly they don't want their freedom gone mm-hmm. they don't want they don't want their freedom gone they like, want to have change. hang out go out with their friends do and a it's bunch like of this stuff. with any minority group. exactly like, i know we're yeah. talking specifically about abortion and women but any minority group it's, that shows even the potential to have a little bit of power or have a little bit mm-hmm. of influence they get shut down immediately exactly because that's how this country works and that's how it's always operated Sorry, oh, just like Megan. Sorry, just like it's, gets it's, me going. It's first. It's very frustrating. It's very, very frustrating, and I, I don't know what more to say, besides, you know, why would you? Uh, it, it just, it just, it just baffles me that we're still. It's twenty twenty two, and we're still doing. We're still doing the same stuff that we did back in seventeen seventy six. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Oh. We, we have been a nation for almost two hundred fifty years, and we still we're still doing the same thing. You know. Pro- why, can't, why can't we advance? Why can't we just progress? Pro- it, it's, 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 it's this thing called progression. Because mm-hmm. rich white men don't want to lose their power. Oh, that's Boom. a little song. That yeah, should be a song. That should be our next bumper song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> rich white men should want to lose their I like that. But like, you see all these different things going on in the world. You know, why not make a, you know, the, at the end of the day, the Constitution said, no, we, this for, we the people. We the people. You're not looking out for the people. Yeah, but it was also written at a time where it was catered specifically towards oh. white. Oh, I know white men. White male. But I'm yeah. saying, but I'm saying, like, if you if you think that if you think that that's not you don't want to change that, we the people, for the people of the United States. If yeah. you're a citizen like, of the United States, no matter what, mm-hmm. you're you're, you're that's, that's yeah. your people. True. So t- so tailor make your your nation, the laws of your nation, the way the world works for your for your civilians. Does not matter what does not matter what era it is. If you don't want to change it, if you don't want to change the thing, then just keep it the way it is. If you want, I'm sorry, if you don't want to change the thing, then tailor, then you know, adapt, adjust, make make changes, advance. Because at the end of the day, you know, the world the world's evolving. Mm-hmm. So why not evolve with it? Yeah. yeah. That's so good. Because oh, I'm sorry, but yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna leave it at that. <sighs> you know what? I think it's time for us to get a break before I lose my marbles. I think if we all lose our marbles. Yeah. Respectfully. All right. We'll be back. Oh, nice. We're back, and Laura's still hacking the, the Monday bus. I think she likes, she likes it too much. Of course she is. 
Well, vibes. Vibes. So, imagine that transition we have. Yeah. You gave us such a bad transition, Isaiah. I, I, I just want to say that out loud. I, I, I thought the transition I had before, you know, you, you, you hold I thought I L. thought the one you had before. You hold was an L. I should throw shoes at you because I was talking about battles. I was talking about battles. <laughs> Yeah. But this was this was worse. This one this is was quite this so was quite much worse. Bad. This was quite bad. So um I guess do, I guess do I just do I just go into it? Go into it. Don't hold back. Okay. okay. So these kids can catch these hands. <laughs> yep. That's that's the title. That, that is the title. That, you, title that is the title provided. The narrative for having babies in your 20s has dramatically changed. Women are starting to give birth later in their lives. The change had begun over the span of the last three decades. According to a new report from the U.S. Census Bureau, birth rates in the U.S. Has de- have declined from women in their 20s and jumped for, to, for women in their late 30s and early 40s. The trend has pushed the median age of U.S. women giving birth from 27 to 30, which is the highest on record. While fertility rates dropped from 1990 to 2019 overall, the decline was regarded as rather stable compared to previous years. But the age at which women had babies shifted, fertility rates declined by almost 43% for women being the ages of 20 and 24 and moved by more than 22% for women between 25 and 29. At the same time, they increased by more than 67% for women between 35 and 39 and by more than 132% for women between 40 and 44. According to the Census Bureau, according to the Census Bureau, Philip Cohen, a University of Maryland sociologist, believed that that decisions um, by colleagues educated women to invest in their education and careers so they could be better off financially when they had children as well as the desire by working class women to wait until they were more financially secure, have contributed to the shift towards older motherhood. The pandemic over the past two years has pulled, have, has put off motherhood even further for many women with the U.S. birth rates in 2010, 2020, sorry, dropping to 4% in the, in the largest single year decrease in nearly 50 years. An expert said that there appears to have been a bit of a rebound in the second half of 2021 to lower similar in 2019, but more data is needed to determine if this is a return to a no- normal decline. During the pandemic, some women at the end of the reproductive years may have given up on becoming parents or having more children because of the economic uncertainties and greater health risks for pregnant women who who got the virus that's so interesting to me because i really thought that the pandemic would have had more so a reason to have children i mean obviously like it was not a good time and people were fearful for their children however being trapped in lockdown for two years i wouldn't expect like and i mean i'm not trying to be like funny about that but like being trapped in lockdown for so long with maybe your significant other you know Um. um but I'm surprised that birth rates would decrease, especially by so much, mm-hmm. if it's by a significant amount too. Um, I just was like not expecting that. I thought if anything, it would probably maintain the same or increase. I don't, I'm not, no, honestly, I'm not surprised it's like that because you got to think, I understand you should be not trying to lock that, but what the financial, with the financial stuff at that point, yeah. like, like yeah. people yeah. aren't working. So like, you're not really able to finance Never to get things on so uh, maybe it's just from my experience because I know quite a few people who have gotten pregnant within the past like two years. Mm-hmm. Oh, summer. But um, I also feel like with um, I agree with Cam. I feel as though a lot of like us young adults want to enjoy our lives before taking that next step within our lives because it's such a big role to like fill. Because I know for myself, um. I want to, I want to get married a little later. I want to get, have kids a little later. Like, I don't want to, I want to enjoy like, like my life as like a young adult before I take those big steps in my life. So I feel as though the reason why I did that is because a lot of us want to enjoy our time and everything, but that doesn't mean there is a lot of young 
adults out there, like I know so many people I've graduated with in high school that was in the dinosaur age. I know Cam, you were probably going to say that, but um, that <laughs> that literally already are married and already planning on having children already, and they're 23, 24 years old. And I know my, in my head, I am not planning that anytime soon. I've told that to my family and friends, and that's sticking with that. <laughs> Man, I know someone who actually um who I was a year younger than me who actually just had a kid. Oh, oh wow! Really? Yeah, I'm like, whoa, wow, it's wild. But like, still, I would like to live my life. You know, li- living your life, living your life to the absolute fullest. I, that's what my my parents wish they that they wish they did, because personal story my, my parents they uh they had a, they had children when my dad was 18 my sister my mom was uh 17 and just for them to they didn't really experience life until after i was born you know i was my dad was 30 my mom was 29 so i was like all right well now we get to do things because you know the baby has all other siblings to look up to so chilling it was it was no built-in babysitting but at the same time it's like <laughs> all right words but yeah like I would like to live my life all the way through, and they'd be like, "Yeah, you, know, you got you got good stories to tell before uh, before the, the kids come out." In my high school, there were quite a few teen pregnancies <gasps> as well as teen moms. Um, Whoa! Yeah, it it was very surprising because like all of a sudden you'd be like, "Oh, this person's pregnant," and you're like, "Really?" And then you know they start showing, and it's like, "Oh, wow, this <laughs> person! Oh, they are pregnant." Um, so no, oh, word. More so word? than not, they usually once they have the kid, either dropped out. There were very few people who remained but i don't know maybe it's just such like a common thing i'm not common but oh, i've at mean. least seen it a few times More throughout common, my guess. high school experience but yeah i'm gonna say is this i have two i think i think you know out of high school during my high school experience i think there's like three that i could think of yeah same here and then after high school no like within like a year no during, during, during my years of college i seen People I graduated to probably like four or five, no, five or six team moms now. Oh, wow. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of wild. It's kind of wild stuff. But yeah, like that entire thing about, I would like to, like, the ideal is for me to have kids. I would like to be like late, late 20s, mm-hmm. early 30s. Like get a hold on your life. Yeah. Before like before you try to raise another life. But like, I'm not gonna get married to like to like to around then to like you know late 30 sounds that, that sounds cool too. You feel me? Mm-hmm. It sounds sounds it sounds pretty cool. Actually, I'm not gonna find my wife till so uh so probably late 30. So like yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> so yeah, vibes. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, so yeah, vibes. Yeah, so, yeah, as I chose myself right now, it's, it's kind of crazy. All right, Isaiah, relax over there. Re- relax. <laughs> All right, anyway, so let's just move on before uh, I get embarrassed again. Word, yeah, word. Let's do it. Let's so, do it. boom, right? Yeah. Uh, so, Ross is having their graduation. And, uh, you know, the, this the, this is why the, the, the whack yellow bird school, respectfully. Respectfully. Yellow what? The, they're the whack yellow birds. I mean, the profs. Sorry. I get this confused sometimes. <laughs> Megan, hopefully you don't have to deal with this when your graduation ceremony is slated to be. Oh, Cross your fingers. You no. Know, when is your graduation? Uh, the College of the Arts. I'm pretty sure it's June third. Yeah. What, what about the what about the the graduation of the masses? The commencement. Yeah, that one. Uh, in two weeks, May twentieth. Are there separate graduations for separate schools? Yes. Yes. How are they not know? And they go by quick. It's like forty five minutes. What? Beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. We love that. I went to my friend's last May, and it went by quick. I was like, oh, it's done. Let's okay. Sick. Oh, okay. Word. I thought thought the other things said. Okay. Anyway. But yeah, Rowan had to cancel their commercial ceremony. Think, guess why? Not, 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 not because of uh, you know, not because of the the, the pancetta, not because of the you know the, the, the great pinata. No, even worse, what? weather. Oh. Good old weather. Actually, who was talking about weather? It's not right, Allie. You're talking about the weather. <laughs> Mother Nature. This um, weekend it rained and rained and didn't it was stop raining. Exactly. It canceled was all so my nieces sad. and nephews' games. I was so bad. Exactly. So, boom, let me tell you why what happened. So, as things were going on, the ceremony was originally scheduled for Saturday, then delayed to Sunday because, you know, rain exists. And then it said, oh, yeah, word? No, nah, it's cool. No, they, they, got the, they got the job done Sunday. 
us did a lot of my a lot of my friends, a lot of my family really, really think about it. But yes, they class 2022 will have the opportunity to walk across the stage all together when they hear the names called during their individual colleges over the next week. Sunday's uh, university wide ceremony would have included an address by Rosen, uh, Roman President Ali Husmond, a message from other commencement speakers, and a celebration with food, music, and photo opportunities. Here's a statement from the, the president of Rowan himself on the cancellation. Quotes, yesterday we were hopeful that the storm would blow over so we could proceed with our rain-delayed Sunday ceremony, but today the weather news is still bad. Rowan's 19 colleges and school ceremonies will begin Monday morning, include Friday evening. I would be so upset, I would be, yeah. especially I would over be the so past mad. few years. Yeah. Like you finally didn't... coming out of a pandemic where everything was like remote and being like, "Oh yeah, I can have an actual graduation." Like that's so exciting. And then it being canceled <laughs> because of weather, Imagine because of rain, not because of the pancetta. Or- <laughs> <laughs> I was talking because about the rain. the rain. I was talking about the weather. In the rain. In the <laughs> rain. We were. Why would you dump that? Why would you dump that? We uh, didn't dump anything. Shout out Tara. Respect Tara. Tara to Kenny. But yes, I'm gonna say that. Like, I, I agree with you 100 percent because first off, y'all people, you know, you you kids over there, you didn't have you didn't experience a real graduation. I did. You know what I mean? You had, no, I don't really. Did you have to wear a mask for your graduation? No, it was oh. outside. Oh, that's class. Oh, that's, sick. Oh, that's yeah. class. Did you you kids? Um, no, uh, my class was split up. Um, we they divided us in half. We had it on the football field and it was outside. See, half split up. How about you over there? Ours Luke? was outside, and we were all sitting socially distanced, Boom. so we didn't have to wear masks. Oh, so did you have a small school or something? Yeah, I only had, like, my graduating class was barely 100 kids. Oh, that's probably why. Yeah. Oh Mine was gosh. 120. So. Mine was, like, 600. Huh. I, I really, I really huh. wanted to see it. Huh. Yeah. The entirety of my school was less than your, your guys' graduating class. Yeah. That's wild. Anyway, but, yeah, you know, that's probably – that that. Like these these people, you know the the good the good graduating the good graduating class twenty twenty two, they went they were the second to last class to experience a real graduation, and for them to um, you know have it get canceled or postponed, actually no straight up canceled, for them to get canceled it's like that's sad tears <laughs> tears my pillow is crazy, but you know, <laughs> what can you really do? Yeah, it's, it's, like what can you really do? Mm-hmm. And it's like something as simple as right, like it's 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 frustrating. I would be frustrated if I were them, especially because it's not it, it it's rain. I'm just curious as to why they couldn't have moved it inside or like why they didn't have like you, the rain. Right, they could have moved no. it or just moved it to a different date. That's what I just yeah. don't understand. I mean, a rain do nice. We gotta think that one. Why would you want to have all those people that that live around the country? Like you got to think this ain't high school. This yeah, is this is this, right. This is college. No, no, let me say, let me say. This is a big deal. Yeah, this, this is more important than high school. This, yeah. Yeah, this, this, this university. No, no. What I want to say this: this is the university. You got people that live across yeah, the like, world, around the like, world. So Still, I feel like this is something that's important enough to accommodate. All no. Things. Yes. It's no. It's it's just the shake hands. Congratulations, you, you graduated college. Not your individual college. I'm really excited to graduate, Cam. <laughs> Listen, not, no, it's not. I'm sorry, I know. I think being... different people interpret it different ways, and I think to some people it's probably very, very important. Whereas I'm about to just to turn your mic off real quick, respectfully. No, I'm just gonna just pull do the uh, classic Isaiah and just uh, say this. I am in control here. But uh, yeah, what I wow. what I to, yeah, what I wanted to say was uh, you know, first off, that's I can't hear you. I cannot hear you. First off, first off, what I was wanted to say is like you know, people are, are it's around the world. People are coming from coming to school around the world. Not just not just college, or not just not just the local area around the world. Like, imagine if Rutgers did something like that. They can't. They physically can't because they got they got jokers that go to school elsewhere, and it's the big commencement. Like, yeah, it's cool. You just get pictures of people. That's that's dope. It's not your individual college. Like, if you if the you know if, example if Montclair's College of the Arts, we don't we don't get you don't get you don't get your your degrees at the, at that event. You don't get your degrees there. You get your degrees at, at your school event. You don't get the you just, you just shake hands like, yeah, hey, yes, congratulations. You, you did you did the thing. Cool. You don't you don't get to see your hard work pay off until you get to your individual school's commencement. You feel me? You feel me, kids? I guess I feel I'm not a kid. <laughs> not you. You're like 40. Hey. 
you. Sorry. You graduated high school four years ago. My fault. Remind me. What was that noise? I don't. I don't know. I'm. I'm. Miss me making fun of Megan per use. Yes. Per use. Per use. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss doing that. I know you are. Then, then, then they're gonna make jokes about me. God. Can't wait. I mean, we're we're about to right now. God. Ah, yes. Isaiah, we're going right into this one because yes. Okay. So, as someone who likes to drive everywhere on, on planet Earth, yes. And so, as someone who sleeps in the car usually, quite often, yeah. And as someone who also leaves the car on during the middle of the night, one would say you run through a lot of gas. Yeah, bro, bro, one would say so, right? So, boom, right? The average price of regular graded gasoline jumped over 15 cents the past two weeks to, wait for it, $4.38 a gallon. Jeez. Yikes. Uh, industry analyst Tribly Lundberg of the Lundberg survey said Sunday that the current price sits five cents below the highest price average in history, which was set, which was $4.43 set on March 11th of this year. Not much better. The average price per, at the pump for gas was a buck 36. What? 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 That was a year ago. Not, not like not like 40 years ago. Not when I say yeah. not, not, not when Megan, not when Megan was, was uh, walking her dinosaur. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it was like literally last year. So like what happened? Nationwide, it the wasn't hot... 136 last year. It was 136 cheaper last year. No, but it wasn't one dollar and thirty six cents last year. Yeah, it was. All right, my, my pop. So, so that's number three. three. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Number shut up! Three. The highest. Shut up! <laughs> the highest average price for gas in the regular in the San Francisco Bay Area is at a whopping five dollars eighty five cents. That's a meal. That is. Yeah, that is. Actually, that's a meal. That is a meal. That's a meal right there. Right. The lowest average is in Tulsa, Oklahoma at $3.80 per gallon, but still got to live in Oklahoma. Oh, uh, gross. Exactly. Yeah. But it, was, it, isn't just, it isn't just regular gas. Oh, no, no. It, 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 it's not just regular gas. Trust me. Diesel gas soared $0.43 cents over the past two weeks to $5.58 a gallon. Y'all drive diesel trucks? No. No, I'm not going to now. Not anymore. All right, good answer. Because, yeah. Criminal. Let me go check my bank account right now. See if I. Yeah, I was gonna say, what's your bank account? Let me go, let me go see. It's gonna be the exact gas price. No, it's it's it, it, <laughs> yeah. oh no, it's it's it's, it's hundred it's a hundred percent not. This this is this is off for me. You know, just driving around. Let's see. Yeah. Let's put you on blast real quick. Let's Eight dollars seventy eight six cents. I got enough for what? Not uh, even. Uh, I, I, yeah, not I, I, even up to you the got, first You got line. enough for one but gallon of small fry. You can right over eat, and that's it. And that I, yeah, I, I got. I got, enough, <laughs> I got. I got enough for. I got enough for a gallon of the small fry. You so know what? Go. This is a good way for people to start going green. I'm just gonna walk everywhere now. Yeah, at this point, I'll just bike. Yeah. Like, Scooter. Respectfully, like, first off, bus is broke. So, like, if y'all, if y'all hiring, you know, like, you know, respectfully. But yeah, like, that's not hard. you doing the the, the the fingers just. Like, I, can, can, can you blame me? Like, bro, can't. All I'm gonna say is this: one, y'all, Uber is going to be making a kill. No, not even Crazy. Uber. Uber Uber prices are gonna go up respectfully. Yeah. Two, there's not gonna be much traffic on 46. So Yahoo, hopefully, knock on wood. There's no wood around me. Yikes. There's wood underneath the table. Technically, the table's wood ish. I don't believe it. That's anyway, not that's worse. that's dry. I I knocked on the drywall. So. But yes, anyway, like it's not like it's not looking in my favor right now. It's not looking in my favor. No, I might I might just take a, just take a bus. If we see Cam walking on the parkway, just don't question it. Yeah, no. <laughs> let him keep walking. Yeah, yeah exactly. If, I, if if you see me walking down, walking on the parkway, I'm going to the beach. Respectfully. There you go. Yeah. But yeah, you guys have any thoughts on that one? Because. I, I mean, just, I haven't. There's just nothing else to say. Just, like, I mean, yeah, there's, it's, there's, it's, there's, it's just high. It's gonna, go high, it's gonna, gonna keep going. Right. I got, yeah, I got gas on Friday because I had to fill it up before I went home, and it was forty five dollars. Oh, 
I've never spent that much money on my car. I have a small Toyota Corolla oh and gosh. that thing would only, I would pay 25 bucks. That's the crazy. most. <sighs> Listen, $45. So I, I'm, as far as you guys all know, I've gone to a car accident, right? Like, you know, this is back in 2020. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> what you guys don't know, I just filled my tank up literally the, like probably like 20 minutes before I got into a car accident. I'm seeing if I can extract that gas from my car and just like in the, 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 keep it in storage, you know, for safety keeping. You're trying to siphon gas. Exactly. I'm trying, to guy. Siphon, I'm trying to siphon gas out here. <laughs> because one, <laughs> it's you at that point. You use what you have. Yo, I already, paid, I already paid for it. Good good. Good. I already paid for it. So like, cheating in cahoots. This is worse than cheating in cahoots. <laughs> no, I already paid for it. Terrible. <laughs> can you blame me though? Like, I don't blame you. <laughs> I can kind of blame you. Yes. How? Can you guys dilute with water? Can you do that with gas? I have no idea how that works. I don't like think that. you can. What? Dilute it with water. I don't think it works like that. I don't. No, that I definitely that, doesn't work like that. I think that burns. Oh my gosh! I'm a yeah. <laughs> I, I, I really like that burns burn. like that. Okay. Cassandra, <laughs> yeah, Cassandra. I'm not going into science. Don't worry. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> She's like, I didn't test it out. Wink, wink. I didn't. I didn't do that. Listen, we're not gonna go. To, no, we don't have to go to sides. We're gonna talk about what's going down in South South America. Oh, hey, Jay, what's South it? Africa? Um, not South Africa. I, I feel like because we're talking about money, we need to do something to keep the lights on first. I did that already. Oh, you did? Yeah. You no, know, I'm here with it. But I'm, look at the. Yeah. I don't care. Uh, okay. I don't care. Okay. We did we did the okay, thing already. Guess, we did the thing. That's actually. I guess we are going to that. So um we'll do it live. We will do it live. Nice. So y'all know Amazon, right? And yes. I'm not talking about the for once, I'm not talking about the, the shipping company. I'm talking about the Amazon oh, as in the Rayful. Not Rayful. Alexa? I'm not talking about Alexa this not time. Je- no. Not not Jeffy B? Not Jeffy B this time. Oh what? It's the actual Amazon. Oh, it's the change of pace. The actual, the rainforest. Uh, unfortunately, uh, deforestation detected in the Brazilian Amazon broke all records for the month of April and filed similar new records set in January and February. Scientists believe that the, untick, the uptick in deforestation is incredibly worrisome. Satellite alerts to deforestation for April corresponded to more than 400 square miles. That is the highest figure for that month in seven years of record keeping and 74% more than the same month in 2021, which was the prior record. It marked the first time that deforestation alerts have surpassed a thousand square kilometers during a month in the rainy season, which runs from December to April. Suli Ahado, the senior public policy specialist at the Climate Observatory, said the April number is very scary. Due to the rain, it is traditionally a month with less deforestation. The data comes from the Brazilian Space Agency's Dieter Moving Monitoring System and corresponded to the first 29 days of April. Data data provided previously showed 430 square kilometers of deforestation this January more than quadruple the levels in the same month last year. In February, it reached 199 square kilometers, up 62% from 2021. The Amazon is the world's largest tropical rainforest and enormous carbon sink. There is widespread concern that its destruction will not only release massive amounts of carbon into the atmosphere, further complicating hopes of arresting climate change, but also push it passed a tipping point after which much of the rain for much of the forest will be an irreversible process to to de- degradation into to- tropical savanna. Oh my gosh. It's I, terrible. It makes me so mad. I don't understand what's the point of this. And like obviously it's going to have effects on mm. the earth. And um why aren't people thinking about that? Like what is so important <sighs> that profit? Unfortunately, yeah. but that's what unfortunately yeah. everything is done for profit. And if you can money. make a pretty penny from it, you're gonna do it. And I'm mm-hmm. not saying like you like personally, but like people yeah. in large companies are going to do whatever they can, regardless of if it's hurting our 
earth, which it is. And then they're going to yes. turn around and say, why is this happening? We'll take a look at what he did. Right. Yes. Listen, as the, as the song always goes, it's all about the money. Money, money. I don't need your money, money, money. Let the world spend. Don't let the part. You know, you know what I mean? Okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, no matter which way you look at it, what 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 does it come down to? Oh, what's what's the most profitable thing for me? How can this benefit me? Exactly. Mm-hmm. How can this benefit me financially? Money makes the world go around. Exactly. It even, is. even though like it's being acknowledged that this is harming our earth and it's harming our environment, mm-hmm. nothing's gonna change. Exactly. Because exactly. it's been They're years now. It. You know, climate change and global warming mm-hmm. and issues such as such as those have been around for so long and people have been oh we need to fix our earth we need to change our earth but yet no action has really been taken mm-hmm. it's always yeah. like this is going to be irreversible this is something we're not going to change in the future it's only get worse and like yes. people are like just like walking around like you want to know what they're doing they're walking on sunshine here's the thing almost like this like this is uh, this is a clear example of all bark no bite is that supposed to be a tree pun no <laughs> Wow, I didn't think about that like that. Wow. Whoa. I didn't think about a lot. That, that, that's, that's a good one. To say us. That was good. That, that, good that, job, Cassandra. Wait, put it there. Yeah. But yeah, like, what I was saying, like, this is a clear definition of people are saying, they're saying, like, oh, yeah, let's go change the world. You know, let's go, mm-hmm. let's go do it. Let's go yes. it up. Well, this is your chance to do it. Mm-hmm. But you're like, oh, word? Yeah, no, that's cool. Like, 430 mm-hmm. square kilo- kilometers, kilometers, anyways. kilometers. Oh my god! They're just saying stuff, and then that's where it's stopping. <laughs> and if, if they want to actually change, you're gonna need to put in the effort. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's like the one thing I feel as though this is not gonna change, and we're always gonna hear, "Oh, let's make sure we take care of our Earth." That's we want right. to, but there's gonna, we're gonna come to sure the point. Sorry, no, you can go. We're gonna come to the point where it's gonna be irreversible, and we're already yeah. starting to see those effects. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we're gonna come to a point where. The damage has already been done, and mm-hmm. there's nothing else that we can do about it. Exactly. And as unfortunate as it is, it's pretty much unavoidable at this point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately. Because the world relies on fossil fuels and de- deforestation so much. Yeah, I know, and that's the unfortunate thing about living on. I'm hungry. Living in this world, but no, it's the way the way the world works. It's it's just so so devastating to think about that you know fossil mm-hmm. fuels, fossil fuels are the thing that powers everything mm-hmm. but at the same and at the same token it's like okay well you know can we find other can we find something else to not use fo- so many fossil fuels so we don't have to you know keep killing our earth yeah and like what's scary <clears throat> is that like it, it pretty much can't the amazon can turn into like the tropical savanna pretty soon like if we keep on doing this it's mm-hmm. like it's i think the way the world changes so irreversibly is like so crazy to think about um because like yeah i don't even know where i'm going with that but it's, it's just the crazy thought of like how that huge forest that holds so much life and um plants and stuff can like turn barren exactly it's just it's just devastating so no like like i'll we'll say this kind of stuff i hope i hope nothing but the best for the 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 amazon rainforest because it's it's something that we it's, it's one of it's one of the world's most natural beauties of all time so i hope nothing but the best yes <laughs> but we're gonna switch gears a little bit yeah, because maybe Cassandra has some, has some things to say. You know, this being the last week of the school year. Yes, yes, yes. So what's popping off this a lot in the last the last go around the last hoorah? Last hoorah. There's not a lot happening actually. What? It is finals week. We hope everybody's doing well with their finals. Respectfully. Um, but true. here's a couple things that you can do if you want to. Like what? Well, today there's going to be wipeout in the student rec center pool from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. So if you ever seen the show Wipeout and absolutely laughed at everyone who bombed every single course and thought you could do it perfectly, now's your chance to prove it. You'll be scoring on time, so bring your speed for a chance to win first or second or third place as they receive grand prizes running the course and the pool. Then for the rest of the week, there's going to be some kids you can pick up from the drop-in center. So tomorrow on Tuesday from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., there's going to be some rock Rock the finals, rock painting. So um, this one's not a pickup kit though. It will be on the um, drop and sensor lawn. So with it warming up um, the weather, go check it out if you want. Tomorrow on Tuesday, there's also gonna be grab and go spa kits from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. with some self-care items. And on Wednesday, it'll be some DIY doodles to de-stress, 
oh my gosh, what did I just say? <laughs> DIY mm-hmm. doodles to these stress kits from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m., which you could pick up on a drop drop in center as well. So um yeah, a lot of kits going around. A lot of kits. You know something funny? What? So this school year, my first ever event actually being part of WMSC was uh me doing me doing a wipeout event. Oh really? Yes. I we me and uh, Nick Hughes actually did a commentary for a wipeout event in October. So I kind of find it funny that that's full. That's it's kind of full circle right there. Wait, was it the one in October? Or was yeah. it the one? Because I, I, I think that they are. They did one this semester. Is the, the, the one in October? Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I did one of them. I forget which one I did, but I, I remember seeing people from WMSC there. Uh, that was that was the uh, first event. Uh, that was actually my first. Oh, no, wait, it was October because I was like, I could have used this as a team <clears> assignment if I had help come help set it up. So yes, I was. It was the one October. Yes, I did. I believe you did interview me. Yeah. <laughs> what? That, 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 that's I mean. That's how Joe and I met. That's yeah, that's, that's the one of the, the, wife the, the first of many ways that we met. Like oh, uh, that's other ways were said. Um, said things in the office. But that's another point. <laughs> we don't talk about the office. No. No, but no. yes, like the wipeout, like the wipeout event, it was, it was a fun event, I, and I wish I was able to participate in it. But you know, life. That sounds fun. It, I, it, uh, wipeout makes you like laugh. Like um, the reruns at like, oh, twelve no, o'clock in the morning are the funniest thing ever to me. Yeah, it's hilarious. We had a wipeout Wii game as kids, and my brother I and I so played bad. it nonstop. We were obsessed with it. Aren't you like five? What? I was like, finally, so you're saying, like, you know, as a kid, like, that was like last week. I am. Haha. Wow. I am laughing so hard right now. You fell off your dinosaur, didn't you? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I gotta still, else, but I can't. I gotta stop making these jokes. I'm, I'm acting like, I'm acting like I'm not gonna be the old man and, you know, next, yeah. literally next, you next are year. The next, old next man, week. Please. Oh, there's the old man. How's that? Yeah. But um, so what, did you guys still go to other events during the semester? Uh, during <laughs> really during this semester, um, okay. uh, what what events did I? I, okay. I know I went to a couple. Um, I went to I think there was a laser tag this semester. I went to that was kind of cool, yo. Yeah, I, I usually try to go to the laser tag because that's how I uh, met a couple people that are here, like before knowing mm-hmm. that they went to WMSC. So we always kind of like try and go to those. And then also, um, uh, me and a bunch of other people went to the block party. What was that? Oh, that was past, so like last week. That no, was like two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, two weeks. Two weeks. It was like two yeah, weeks two ago. Cool. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Um, me. Uh, Joe Schweitzer, Emmett Arlen, Nate Williams, Todd Maggio, Kelly Mar, Marta Zuniga. I was gonna get to them. You took too long. And then, unfortunately, the hosts of tomorrow. Well, the host of tomorrow, Kyle and Emil. Uh, we all went to uh, the block party like right after mine and Joe's show on Friday. So it was really kind of nice, just like hanging out with all of them, like in the. Mm-hmm. in the quad just chilling i remember um the first ever event i went to like on campus was last semester on the bingo thing and then that was the first time i ever saw ali you got when you guys won the bin when skylar won yeah. the bin oh my goodness my roommate won it was at the amphitheater right yes. yeah it was the amphitheater was, like, the so my roommate before. won a bin from bingo and she screamed so loud when she got bingo oh, she geez. went she did her job yeah! No, and that's still a running yes. joke with me and all of my friends because it was so funny. Shout out, Skylar. <laughs> yes, hi, Skylar, if you're listening. Yeah. And I just love how everyone, uh, I, I'm not sure about, uh, at least on my side, I was sitting on the like right ish side. Everyone was more concerned about getting the bin than the stuff that was actually. Yeah, in. it was just like, more. Trying, the bin, the bin, the bin. That was, it was, so it was funny. really funny. My two favorite events probably they both happened last semester. I didn't go to many events this semester because I was just oh, I'm a little busy. Um, but last semester, my first day here was the night of the Hawaiian Bash, mm-hmm. and although that got shut down Almost very that. very early, yeah, I was, it was like, looking across my window from Bo, and I'm like, yeah. wow. This yeah, I was just like, down. I was just like, I just like kind of like lifted up my window and I'm, my curtain, and I'm just like. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed it though because that's where I met a lot of my friends I'm now really really close with so it was just like my way of like meeting people and dancing and there was like bubbles that I was playing in and it was a lot of fun and then also 
I went on the white water rafting trip that they offered in October. Ooh, and oh. that, although was it was a little on. more anticlimactic than I was expecting <laughs> it to be, it was still Not fun. Um, and I went also with my roommate and we had a blast and yeah. all the different rafts came up with like names for our own rafts and we were like competing with each other. So it was just like a lot of fun and I hope they do it again next year. Yeah. So I I'm really happy that like they run trips out yeah. like through the school. Like I went on the paintball trip. Oh, really? Still have like a little bit of a sore spot from that. Hey, Joe. <laughs> hey, Joe. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Don't take it off. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Um, this is 90.3 WMSC Upper Montclair. Now, our two of the buzz. Do, 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 our two transition. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm not as good as, well, I mean, though Seamless. you have been bad today, I'm not as good as transitions as you. No, so it's, I'm literally on. I'm, I'm actually slept tonight, so that's probably why my transitions are not that good. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm gonna tell you, Megan. How about you? What, what were your favorite events? Um, I'm gonna say from this semester, the Kahoot events that I went with uh, my best friend. Uh, we did the Friends event because she's a huge Friends fan, and we went to that, and it was just a blast overall. The Kahoot nights we went to a lot, and I just loved them. The Disney one, I slayed in. Just saying. <laughs> nice. Pop off. Pop off. Pop right. Off. Right. But yeah, those are my two favorites. I will say. It wasn't student, it wasn't SJ Ram, but ice skating with ice skating is always a always a fun thing. I only did it twice, but ice skating, ice skating with the friends, it's always it's always a good time. Also, another event that go, the coots are they're always nice to go to. I don't cheat, at least try not to cheat. <laughs> Convincing. Uh, Finally, let me stop lying. Yeah, stop lying. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's a lot. But you know what? Let me just go keep the lights on real quick so I can knock this out the way. And then yeah, we just you know go off there, just, just ball off for the next hour. Word, y'all cool with that? I'm cool with that. I'm good. All right, word. Word. Well, we will be right back. It's not funny. It was next. And welcome back to 90.3 WMSC Upper Montclair. Once again, Lara keeps happening in areas, and it's getting very, very, very concerning. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like, but, you know, it's the usual suspects are here. And I think I'm going to start off with this, this quote. This is really about finishing, finishing the job. The finish line is just the beginning of a whole new race. Unknown. So... It's like the way you really look at it. No one. This is, this is like the saying goes: when one when one opportunity when one door closes, another one opens. Every end is a new beginning. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There's always there's always something that the next the next step. And this really is really, really just you know not only for you guys, but Megan. You no, know, as you know, as your collegiate career comes down to an end. Yeah. You know, you, there's it, you had a lot. Of, you know, I hope you had a help you help you had a time of your life here. I did. And I hope that's nothing, really nothing but the best. But, you know, 
this is not this is this, this is just the beginning of, of the next of the next chapter of your life. You know, you got some, there's gonna be something special, even more greater ahead of you. And I, I know that you're gonna do successful things, do great things amongst amongst everybody. We're, we're gonna be supporting you a hundred percent of the way. Kim, you're literally gonna make me cry. Stop. Don't you dare <laughs> cry. Listen, I'm angry. Listen, Ali's this Ali's this Ali's sad. This literally, lady. but geez, I was not expecting that. Okay. Ali's sad. So she, she she that that she she must be uh influencing your emotion today. Yeah, I clearly. She's just sitting in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that's um. No, we're, we're proud of you and you know, you. really, really excited to see what, what your future holds for you. Thank you, Cam. And thank you guys. I really appreciate it. So with that being said, hey, Sadness. Hey. Can I get, can hey. I get the final newscast of the semester? Oh, it's the last one. See, that's why it's Sadness. All right. Yes, you can. Do it now! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Ali Rario. And on this magical Monday. Oh, my God. Yeah, 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 nice. I'm I did. I had to do one last one. Um, I'm joining you from 90.3 WMSC Upper Montclair. In international news, in Russia, they are celebrating their annual Victory Day military parade today. This parade has been celebrated since the Soviet Union beat Nazi Germany and is celebrated to show Russian strength and determination. However, since losing a great deal of their money due to the ongoing war in Ukraine, the parade is going to be scaled down by nearly 35%. In national news, thousands of people have been evacuated from their homes due to the ongoing wildfire in New Mexico. This fire has been burning for over a month now and continues to spread due to the record high temperatures, high winds, and dry conditions in the state. As of Saturday, the fire has burned over 267 miles of land, and many schools and businesses have been forced to shut down. In regional news, New York's Governor Kathy Hochul tested positive for COVID-19 on Sunday. She announced that she is vaccinated and boosted and has had no symptoms as of right now. COVID cases have been rising recently due to the removal of mask mandates in several areas across the country. Lastly, for some weather, it's currently 46 degrees outside and sunny. Today is predicted to have a low of 45 and a high of 67. It should be sunny all throughout the day, and that sunshine is going to carry over until Thursday, and then it will be partly clouded. Unfortunately, this weekend will be filled with some scattered rain showers and thunderstorms. Thank you, and back to you, Cam. <sighs> Thank God. Whoa. Oh, no, I think she did a fantastic job. I know. Just, she, listen, I, 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 love, I love having a newscast every week because it, it's just like they relax, a relaxed change of pace. I don't, listen, to be honest with you, the news, I don't like listening to the news. I don't like covering the news. It, it's, it's just too heavy for me. But Ali, Ali drops that, that nice, the nice blend of just, boom, here's what you got to do. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate, I appreciate having you do the newscast all semester, so thank you, Allie. Your appreciate voice is it. very calming when it comes to the news, so it makes me feel well, not you. as so fearful. Exactly. Hence, <laughs> why? <laughs> of fear. Oh, we're talking about it. Does, it doesn't make me mad, so, you know, vibes. It makes me happy hearing your voice. Gross. Oh, good job. I'm so sad to hear that. No, oh, that, that, that's 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 unfortunate. We're trying, we're Joe, trying, guys. Joe's disgusted. That's crazy. Yeah, it, I'm so disgusted. It won't even let me turn on my camera. That's even Whoa. crazier. That's even crazier. But uh, you know, see how But Megan. Yes, yes. So what's up with the sports cast? All right. So for the sports cast, um, the NWSL catching heat over safety concerns during the Challenge Cup final. The North Carolina Courage earned their first Challenge Cup title after beating Washington Spirit 2-1 on Saturday. The match had made headlines for other reasons. Voices around the league were critical of the uh, officiating throughout the match, especially in the second half when various calls were missed in a potentially dangerous situation. At one point, Spirit midfielder Jordan Baggett was injured and needed a stretcher. The medical crew wasn't quick enough, so some Spirit players ran over to bring the stretcher to their teammate. This moment in particular is causing the NWSL to catch plenty of heat due to the safety concerns sparked from the match. Observers were specifically concerned with the officials failing to help prevent these injuries and resulting scary moments on the pitch. So the injury was basically off a corner kick. It was, it was North Carolina, um, courage kicking the, uh, corner kick 
and Jordan Baggett was trying to recover the ball and a spear player and Baggett both collided to the point where Baggett slipped and fell under her and the spear and the um, courage player hit her right in the chest with her knee Mm. instant in the video. You see her eyes go white, everything. She starts to have a seizure on the field. It's still being aired. They didn't put it on commercial break. They decided to show the stretcher of the one person moving the stretcher and they're walking. They're literally walking. So that's why the spirit team players ran and grabbed the stretcher and ran it to her because it was getting more serious than it actually was. And they now the past two days, it's been talked all over for the NWSL and how bad this situation was and how they did not really take care of it very well. And that's bad on two accounts because one, it's it's bad on it's bad on the station for even airing that. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you know, as an official, that's that's the job as the official. You want to have order of the game, you're in control of the game. And if you you see someone that's in a situation like that, right? You, you at the end of the day, no, no, no one's there to be no one's there to be malicious in any way. If you're there to be malicious and and trying to hurt people when you, when you play sports, then you got you got you you are. You're you are not gonna make it make it far in life. Right. And the courage player was so upset. Like she was making sure she was okay. Like she was trying to help out as much as possible. But the way I found out about the story was my 11 year old niece came up to me. She's a huge soccer fan. Wow. Told me about this. She goes, Megan, I was literally, she goes, and Megan, I was literally watching this on the TV. And now I'm scared to go back on the field on Saturday and play soccer. Wow. And like I had to help her like calm down and now she's all on the story and she's telling everybody because she saw that and now she can't get out of her own head now she's paranoid in soccer and she's playing in rec leagues mm. and it's, it's really you guys think that that's really the it's an official right that's the all yeah but the, the officiating has to understand has to recognize situations or potential scenarios where think you no know, trust me in sports things can go wrong at, in a snap snap of a finger right you gotta understand that and recognize that, and you know, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of, a lot of crazy things that happen in the world. So, you know, I hope that uh, Bag is she, she's uh, she has a, a full recovery. But you know, speaking of crazy things in the world, <clears throat> one of my favorite comedians of all time, Dave Chappelle. You know, he uh, he he got attacked, and you know, Isaiah would like me to read the name of the title. <clears throat> Not Dave. So yes, hopefully you could hear, hear that. I hopefully I had the. No, I, it's hard for not to hear me because you know I scream. <laughs> and true. relax with her, Joseph. <clears throat> All right, well, last week, famous comedian Dave Chappelle was attacked by an armed man at his sold-out show at the Hollywood Bowl. Chappelle handled like a pro and immediately made a joke, trying to ease the chaotic tension in the air. But how the word was somebody? But how the world? How? How in the world, right? How does somebody p- bypass security, get on stage, attack Dave Chappelle? Did I attack anybody at, at Netflix? Is a joke. Like Netflix is L, L for Netflix. L for Netflix L, respectfully. The 23 year old suspect snuck in a folding knife and jumped on stage with ease of any security guards who are supposed, supposed to protect the performer and control the crowd. So, who are the guards you're asking? It wasn't me, I'm telling you. Those guards are employed by Contemporary Service Corps, who has provided crowd protection at thousands of concerts, performances, and sporting events across the United States, including Coachella and the big game. But over the past decade, hundreds of people have been injured and dozens have died at events where CSC was among the vendors who provided security, including the 2017 Route 91 Festival in Las Vegas, where the shooter killed 60 people, and the November 2021 Astro tragedy where a surging crowd trampled 10 people to death. The company, which builds itself as, quote, the world leader in crowd management and event security for entertainment and sporting events industries, has been sued dozens of times by attendees, employees, and victims of <clears throat> victims' families for claims of neg- uh, ne- negligence, personal injury, battery, and assault, as well as labor violation laws. Still popular concert promoters like Live Nation, as well as major venues like the Hollywood Bowl, have continued to work with CSC to provide security for some of the country's biggest and most well-attended events. CSC's everywhere. They just did Coachella. They're set to do East EDC in Las Vegas in two weeks. 
and they already have a contract for the incredibly large game. Actually, I'm just wondering. I think I think we could say this. I think we say the the actual name of that because it was the close, but we're not going. You know, I'm just what. wondering why anybody would even hire them after everything happened with Astro World. No, like that yeah. was such a terrible event to happen, and it was everywhere. Mm-hmm. And the fact that the security company, which I that was going to be my first question, is if they were in charge of that, like everything that happened. But the security company, they were not responsible, but they were the bodyguards they were supposed to be overseeing everything and something like this happened why would they still be getting hired by these different Mm -hmm. venues and i know it's not that easy to just kind of like try to like control a crowd well i I, also that but just to completely boycott for lack of a better word a certain company just because of one um instance but like how was that not a wake-up call yeah oh oh my gosh um yeah, like how did he get up there with like nobody nobody like said anything? Yeah, but my question is how did you get into the venue yeah. or event with, with, with the with knife? Or like how yeah, with like, the excuse, knife? Who's gonna do their job on that part? Me. Let's let's get that through our heads here. Like yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. How'd you get through with that? Bro snuck in with the like how how you do that? But, I mean, okay, for Dave Chappelle though for taking it so professionally. Very yeah. true. If that were yes. me, I don't know what I would do. Mm-hmm. But also, I just remembered my friend. She went to a Justin Bieber concert, and she said that like no one checked bags like at all. What? Oh like she said like a few here and there, but like they didn't fully look in bags. So like anything could have happened mm-hmm. in that situation. So I feel as though like <laughs> I feel like they're getting lazy just they thinking are. about it. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think I think at the same time. You, you ought to think that the, the pandemic probably probably plays into a uh, probably probably plays in the fact is just the exhaustion of doing everyday tasks nowadays. They're probably like, eh, probably sick. I just want to do the bare minimum, not and just just be there. But the same at the same token, it's like, you know, that's your job. Your job is to be to be the protection for mm-hmm. thousands of people, not just not just you know the performer, thousands of other people. So why would you not do your job seriously? Yeah. Like, especially when lives can potentially be impacted, be lost, be exactly. injured. Like, a serious consequences can be resulted in what you do and do not do. <laughs> Please take it seriously. Listen, if you, if you have a job to do, do your job. If you're part of a team, be a part of that team. Do your job when you're a part of that team. Because it's frustrating to see a lot of people are affected by it. And it, it it looks bad. It looks bad on not only yourself, but it looks bad on the overall the overall team dynamic, especially on the higher ups. It looks horrible on them. Because why would you trust the higher ups if if they are promoting, you know, saying, "Oh yeah, we're this we're this big company, we're this great company, mm-hmm. we're this great team." Why are they promoting you if you're not going to do your job? Mm-hmm. Why 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 should they give you another opportunity if you're not going to do your job? Right. Yeah. And that is also a jab at someone at, at some people. I know, but that's not the point. Think about it. Take a second. Anyway. <laughs> so, yes. Yes. Do your job. Do your job. Because lives, lives could have been lost right there. Yeah. Lives, lives were not. You were responsible for a tragedy that happened in November. You were responsible for a tragedy that happened in 2017. So, like, th- there's a lot. There's a lot of things. That if you don't do your job, you're responsible for not only the you're responsible for many a deaths. Many a death is on your that's on your hands. That's blood on your hands right there. So why not do just let them do your job and do it to the full extent? <sighs> I just have to relax a little bit. So I want to touch Bill Withers because yeah, I'm an old, I'm an old man. So I here's- gotta hear you, my dude. Here's some, uh, here's some ain't, ain't no sunshine.
Uh, but yes, this another is another L. I was, I, boom. <laughs> boom. Oh, the shoes coming boom. out. The shoes are up. What's up? What's up? Anyway, living up to the name, I see. Listen, I, I listen. I, I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, that happened day one. Please. Yeah. All right. Anyway, this is Ask the Buzz now, respectfully. Mm-hmm. <sighs> no, with the semester ending, and I know we all seen it. I didn't know roommate traits. Not clean, dirty roommates. I don't like it. I roommates that don't respect um boundaries. My yeah, yes, yeah it's a I good feel one. that. I have a um my friend has a roommate and like um like like they do like little things that like apparently like they my friend expressed like hey I don't like when you do this I don't like when you do that like maybe we could do it less and they're like nah like I don't really want to I'm like what. I would hate to be rooming with that. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't like that. Allie? I think similar to Megan, just cleanliness. Yeah. Not like doing your part in cleaning the room. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, I haven't had to deal with that. But, like, I can't imagine what it would be like. It's so bad. If, like, you know, they just don't clean. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, what, um, what Cassandra said. Sam between both cleanliness and boundaries. Yeah, we just, we just, just combining no, everything. We're like, combining we're, it too much. Because we're making it into I think that's really it. Like, there's, there's, I, like, I don't get irked easily. Just don't be, do you, your job. You you, wait, right. wait, you don't get angry easily? That's, that's <laughs> shocking. <laughs> that is so shocking, shocking Cam. Literally. I will throw shoes at you kids. Shut up. Sheesh. Funniest thing I've heard all day. That's that's like uh, it's the funniest thing I've heard all day, and it's only it's probably going to be the funniest thing I've heard all day, and it's only eight twenty four yeah. on a Monday. On a Monday. Anyway, 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 anyway. If you had a chance to restart life from the beginning while retaining all your knowledge and memories in an alternate universe, would you? No, I think so. I wouldn't. I think I would. I wouldn't. Really? I think that'd be so cool. Yeah. I don't know. I would just like to see how like. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I just would like to see how my lives differ. Mm-hmm. I would. I'm interested in that. Like, um, I like what if like I did something different, but I don't know. I feel like every not like everything happens for a reason to an extent. Yeah. And, like, yeah. Things are just. I feel like if we get a second chance, and like, what, what's the point of keep on going? Uh, if we yeah, just keep on doing right. our right. you know? exactly. Yeah. I would say no. Okay. I think I think this this is, a, this is a consensus number one. I think this is an easy answer. But who'll be the first zombie of this of this Buzz Crew? Cam. Of this Buzz Crew Cam. specifically? Yes. Cam. Yes. I answer no, for everybody. I don't Cam. Think Cam. I think Cam would be able to fight them all. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no. Become a zombie. The first to become yeah. a zombie. You I, fight the zombies off. Just Isaiah. Probably become one. Isaiah. Isaiah doesn't Isaiah. count. Isaiah doesn't Isaiah count. Isaiah doesn't count. Isaiah doesn't count. <laughs> I think myself. Because I think you would like go up to attack them and like no, Cam, like, you'd be like this. You'd be like, all right, so boom, this is what we're gonna do. Then <laughs> we're gonna be best friends. Like no, no I'll, 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 I'll try to dab the zombies. You would. And then they're gonna bite your you arm off. You would try and be like so boom. Yeah. What's good, gang? What's oh. time is time? And then, no, and no, then no. boom, zombie. That was a nice like sound effect. It, it was. was crisp. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. But you, you, Ali, you really don't think it'll be me. That's that's Mm-mm. that's very nice. Who'd you, who'd I don't know. I don't know. This is the thing. You gotta be smart enough to run away. I'll just be like, yo, you'd be yeah, so loud. You're, la- you're so loud. They'd you're find so you loud. Yeah, you, they, yes, so. you are very loud, Cam. You are very loud. <laughs> I would say if we were all <laughs> as someone who concerns for your levels every time we're if, on air together, we you were are all, very loud. If we were put in a situation where we had to like run from zombies, you would obviously, you know, all right. You know, well, I don't want to make assumptions, but I'm assuming you don't because you run Megan. track and. I mean, I'd like run at them, make make jokes, and then just like make make a sacrifice. Yeah, I feel like you say that though, but I feel like if we were in person, I think you would take it seriously. Do we want to find out? No, no, yeah, no. Let's, let's not. Let's, let's move and on. Bring in our special guest, the zombie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <And> Ellen, like. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, and if you look under if look under your look seat under and you find a, a zombie uh, brains. anyway uh, so uh, next question have you ever had a job have you ever quit a job have you ever have had, you ever had, had a job, job? Have, you yeah, no. <laughs> have, you, have you ever had a job yes, yes. have you ever quit a, have you ever quit the job no, no. i have oh all right so boom, right um it was actually last summer it was his warehouse job and 
what happened was it was one. It was a half hour away. The hours were it was like at oh god thirty in the morning, no okay six six a.m. to about two p.m. But it was a half hour drive. I was also coaching coaching my high school team. So just the, amount, just the amount of gas I burned through, and this is you know when gas was cheaper, you know a, a buck thirty five cheaper. Not a buck. The good old days. It's the good old days. Like I was like, all right, word. All right, I heard you said you relax over there. But yes, yeah, vibes. If you could speak to one species of animals, what would it be? And dogs. Why? That was fast. Sorry, I just I want to communicate with dogs so badly. If I were able to speak with my dog, that would be so awesome. It'd be fine, right? I want to say like an interesting animal. Cats are just so like um calm. I would love to have like a chill conversation with my cat. Are you okay? I, I, can't, I can't say that. I can't Why? say that. What can't you say? I can't. I can't say it. I'll, I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> I can't say that. Okay. Well, Cam is having his breakdown <laughs> over on the other side of the Literally. desk. <laughs> I'm going to give my answer, and I, I I would have to probably say like owls because I feel like that's a good one. I feel like it'd just be really cool, and I'd be living up all of my Harry Potter dreams just talking to an owl. I what? thought it was so funny, Cam. I think also so maybe funny. like going off of that birds. Like, I was birds, just gonna say birds. birds. birds yes, so they, birds. they fly all they fly all over the place, and like I they've seen know everything. What they're saying no, yes, like seeing a bird be kind of fire. I'm low key kind of scared of birds, but not saying I'm not still talking to yeah, them. Yeah, I, I see it. <laughs> I see lions. Okay. I think it's fits in with the cats, but like, does they don't speak? Yeah. It's just like, you trying to live out the Lion King? Basically, yeah. That's oh, what it is. Hakuna, I crazy. mean, you do Simba Bro, Kyle almost every day, so respectfully. Anyway. What, if, what would you say to incoming freshmen at MSU? Join WMSA. Avoid Full fans. stops. I mean, like, if you want to. Yes. Um, are you saying Megan as a senior? What would you say? Um, yeah. Yeah. I would if say, anyone I say Megan, Megan, you should be the one to answer this. Um, I would say if do as much as you can freshman year, get yourself involved. And if you get it, if a teacher is really invested on knowing that you're going to succeed throughout your college career, take that opportunity because once it hits your senior year, that opportunity is going to be given to somebody else and you're not going to be able to have that chance. So take every opportunity like you are going to be a senior the next day because college goes by quick. I laughed at my siblings when they said that to me. And now I'm a senior and I don't know how this went by so quick. That is my, that is great. Oh, no, no, you're not a senior. You're, you're graduating. <laughs> you're gradu- yeah, I'm literally graduating. Yeah. You're gra- I think this week you, you'll be, you'll be done that's crazy yeah. i was talking to my nieces and nephews last night and i was like guys i'm this is my last week of school for the rest of my life and they were like what how is that real i had to explain to them like what it meant because they're all in elementary school middle school they didn't understand so i had to bring it up to them they're like wait so now you're just gonna be home and not doing anything i said well i'm gonna be working like i'm gonna be working i'm an adult i said that's an adult thing and they're like i don't want to be an adult i said well it's coming up <laughs> You don't get a chance. <laughs> I know they did. I was like, "Bye, guys! I gotta go to school." Why should I try to play like that? That's crazy. <laughs> it's funny. They don't even believe that I live here. That's like, that's why they were shocked. They're like, "You live at school?" I that's was still, like, yeah. No, my nephew says this to me all the time. <laughs> so I'm like, "I'm like, yeah, I'm like yeah, we gotta go back to school." It's like, it's like, you live at school. I'm gonna live at school, and I'm like, "No, you don't. No, you don't." I said, "Yo, wait, wait you'll, you'll get there." I said, "I'll wait for you. It's good. Hell, you'll get there." <laughs> relax, relax, child. Uh, what is something you never outgrow? I don't know. Just a, just like a habit. Like a material thing? A habit. Just like a, a, habit. Habit? a habit? Um, a habit. I, 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 can easily, I can easily go on for saying like clothes. But... You can't say that, but I would probably have to say biting my nails. I was gonna, yeah. I, I still like bite my nails quite often. Um, yeah. This is... <laughs> I, I still, there's, there's so keep many the chat, Keep the chat. <laughs> so chat keep, please, keep, keep the chat. Oh, what? that made me laugh. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know what it is something I agree with. Um, something. Um, oh, you know what? I don't know what what it was when I was um young. Um, I couldn't fit. Coca Cola is crazy. I say Coca Cola is wild. It is crazy. Um, whenever I went to sleep when I was a kid, I had to like 
be covered from head to toe in my blanket like I like my shoulders down like I could not like oh, have a part of me okay. that was exposed and like I still carry that with me for some oh, reason. I, yeah. I, that, that's me just sleeping on a regular basis like, I, like I, if there's a part of me that's not underneath the covers yes. I think that I'm not something's happy. gonna happen no yeah I yeah. totally agree like I that. pick I like when I'm laying down I like raise my feet and like have the blanket like wrap underneath my feet mm-hmm. I I literally have to have something like 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 either my hand touching my face or like my blanket touching my face or I won't be able to go to sleep like yeah. at all so that's like one thing I'm still I Vibes. still live with this From- is kind of embarrassing but sleeping with a stuffed animal oh, oh me like, too okay. don't worry okay. I, I sleep love, with stuffed animal like, I have this weighted stuffed dinosaur that I have <gasps> from Target from yep. TikTok mm-hmm. I've been There's, looking for that I got it before it went viral on oh, TikTok, I, I want it my friend has a bit. unicorn that sounds kind of far I'm not gonna lie but um since purchasing actually i got it as a christmas present but it is the i sleep with it every single night um you just need to hug something it's so nice for me being loud <laughs> you don't oh, say no way. Kim, you're the you quietest don't person say. i've ever met well, I don't think I've ever heard you raise your voice. No, when you, when you, when you, ever. You want to hear something? Hear something crazy though? Mm-hmm. Yes. I used to be shy. Wait, what did you say? I kid you. I kid you. I used to be shy. Yeah. I, used to, I used to not want to say anything. Really? Yes. Really? It was my junior high school when I came out my shell, and then like that, I have not been with shell up since. <laughs> yeah, you, you when you when you when you when you broke, you literally broke the shell as you broke out of it. Exactly. I just said <laughs> break the, the break the walls down. down. Like, just boom. Right. Boom. All right, those are good. Yeah, respectfully. Uh, and if a new nation, I, I don't feel like answering that question because I'm gonna say Baby Shark respectfully. It's 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 a it's current current day. If a nation was formed by that by popular culture now, Baby Shark would be national anthem, right? Yeah, uh, regrettably, yeah, regrettably, Probably. yes. Unfortunately, huh? What is what is your dream about growing up versus what is it is what it is now? Dream about growing up was what? Hmm. I want to be a soccer player. I want to be a chef. When I was like really little, I wanted to be a vet. Megan? I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to play football. What is, what is it now? Joe? Well, Actually, Miss Andrew went first. I still don't know. It's okay. Um, I'm debating. We'll see where it ends up, though. Joe? Something, something on air. Allie? Performing. But. I am getting a degree in teaching, which I don't dislike, but I always grew up telling myself that I was never going to be a teacher. And the last, I'm getting a a degree in teaching. I have that book. I have that book. It's in my car. Oh, don't worry about it. I was good to see you anyway. Uh, Megan? Um, Working in the sports field, sports broadcasting, sports video, photography, any of that stuff. But I also want to dabble in, in a chance to teach editing and stuff like that at my old high school which that's i might be cool. able to do that's tough that's yeah. fire mm-hmm. i'll have to coach yeah that's like a side thing i would want to do too uh what are some useful small uh, small talk conversation topics um whenever um i meet someone new we always end up talking about like um tv shows we watch yes and like, yeah. it could be like a little difficult if they haven't seen a show and they don't want spoilers but when you find that show that you both of you watch mm-hmm. and both of you are like passionate about like that could carry the conversation for how long yeah. i think if you're both in college i think something that at least has helped me is just talking about different things about the college or asking like their major or like similarities maybe mm-hmm. just about like their experiences storming or commuting and that kind of thing i would say like where like where you're from because that usually sparks up a lot of conversation especially if like they live you guys live in the same county in some random way that's like a spark of conversation Mm -hmm. in a sense i would say for me it honestly depends on the person like i could literally just like if it's if it's at a track me i could just talk just talk track true so yeah use your surroundings exactly that is true use your surroundings yes all right Joe, how about you? I I I agreed with Cassandra. All right, we're <laughs> uh, we'll take we'll take a short break, and then we'll be right back. Respectfully.
we're going back on. And welcome back to the morning buzz. I'm not going to say it because you already know here at 90.3 WMC from Montclair, as I said. Anyway, so, so boom, right? Yeah. So boom. So boom. Uh, so boom. <laughs> where is it? So Mormons and Coke. We got our expert of uh, the of that field right here. I say reverse. Hello, everyone. Um, so first off, <clears throat> you guys ever had Coke? Coca Cola. I I, 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 I <laughs> have you ever had? Oh, Coke? let me rephrase. <laughs> yes, let's rephrase. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Come on hey, hey, I swear, it's just an addiction in the past. Um, Whoa! Oh man, like, we got that. No. We, 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 we cannot say that. No. Right I didn't specify. Um, anyways, so I saw this interesting thing online the other day. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Isaiah, before you say you, we have breaking news. Huh. Nikola Jokic has been named the most valuable player of the NBA season. Oh, debatable. Really? No, like it just, it just came through. Like it just came through. No. I'd love to talk about this more, but, you know, Joel and Beach should have gotten it. Anyways, oh, no. um, so, uh, there's this thing in Utah, and for those who are unaware, a lot of Mormons live in Utah, and in their religion, coffee is a forbidden drink. So yeah. in Utah, there's a lot of uh, places called soda bars. And so there's this thing that's trending online right now where it's the recipe that these soda bars are using. So that is why I brought up Coke, because this is like the primary thing. And so I'm going to share you a little picture and then we can do some quick math together as i try to share my screen because this is absurd i have a math okay. title right after this is perfect practice so we see a coffee mate bottle right mm -hmm. yes everyone knows what coffee mate is you put it in your coffee it's a nice little creamer i'm more of a milk kind of guy but it's all the mormons plus coke plus lime and ice and they mix it together so it's called a dirty coke and that is like their coffee alternative that is not against their religion. So they can't have caffeine or they can't have coffee? They can't have coffee. Okay. So, so have yeah. Caffeine so in a way. It's yeah. so bizarre. And then the interesting thing is I thought for sure that people weren't going to like it. But the genuine, their general consensus is when people try it is that oh, it yeah. tastes like a root beer float. Mm -hmm. That's what I was oh. And I saw people are TikTok. actually really kind of vibing with it. No, yes, I've seen that TikTok. I was like roast. <clears throat> I was like roast out about it. And then people were saying it's really good. And I was tempted to try it. But I'm also I know. don't want to waste my mom's uh, coffee. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully. Though. I don't know. But yeah, guys, that's been your report from Utah. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Thank you, Isaiah. Thank I feel you. like the lime just makes it questionable. Yeah, yeah the lime, yeah, the like lime the, is what the throws lime, me off. It's like, yeah. bro, like, what you doing, bro? You're like, what you doing, bro? Because I feel like the lime, if anything, since it's so acidic, it could, like, curdle the I was creamer. Like, yeah, I'm like, like I don't, I'm just, for me, that does not seem and like a good idea. Oh, like that. That sounds yeah, so yeah. Like, No, thank you. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to hit you up with this real quick. I'm not going to order, by the way. I'm just going to highlight the story. <clears throat> yeah! Wow! Uh, I don't know what was the point of that? Uh, a text it's man the title of the story. A text man apparently mowed the, the front and backyard of a home in Port Arthur before stealing a lawnmower, authorities said. Marcus Renard Hubbard was captured on a surveillance camera removing items from a, the residence on April 1st. What an April Fool's joke that is. He then captured the audio uh, audio filing, the uh, filling the uh, uh, lawnmower with gasoline, then mowing the, properties, the property owner's yard front and back at night. Vehicles with their headlights turned on. You can see the passing homes as Hubbard cuts the grass. When I also arrived at the scene, Hubbard ran from the area while dragging the lawnmower. Police found the mower in a nearby alley, but have yet to find Hubbard, according to the police, according to the television station. Hubbard is currently having an outstanding warrant for burglary of a building. A building? A building. He, he stole something from, a, from you know, the, the peoples. Oh, I, th yes. I took it as he... He stole oh, a building? He took a building. Yeah, he, he just said, yeah, look at my He's pocket. The Incredible Hulk, that He's thing. He Animal Crossing just took an entire building, put it in his pocket. Yes, that's a good reference. You can't do that in Goat Simulator. No, you can't. <laughs> Mid game is crazy. <laughs> have you ever even played it? Yes, I have. So, yeah, exactly. Anyway, like, anyway, back to the story. What? I'm just, huh? 
towel. So, 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 bro, bro, try to uh. Not April first though. Was this supposed to be some? Like, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It, like, the timing of that's hilarious. Like, if that that being April Fool's Day is hilarious. It being if it if this is being on April Fool's for the blah blah, April Fool's Day is Same. amazing. But at the same time, it's like, bro, it's been a month. Like, you good? Can, can I get the lawnmower back? Like, like. Well, I mean, it says that they found the lawnmower in an alley, so I assumed it went back to the rightful owner. Or can I be like, yo, like, bro, like, like, can we, can we talk about it? like, 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 let's, like let's imagine talk. just waking up to the sound of your lawnmower going off at like three in the morning yeah. and you're like, what is happening? Literally. See, look outside just... and there is a man with your lawnmower. <laughs> just, just and not only like that, but, like, imagine he's at the end of your lawn and he's not stopped driving. Like, he's just driving off your lawn and he's just the going street. for it. Like, what do you- no, nah, what? Okay. So, what Wait, was it? it a push more or was it? That's like, what I don't know. I'm trying. I don't see a picture of it. At it all. says it said it was the lawnmower was being dragged, so I assumed. I'd assume. Oh, yeah, it's a push yeah, it's probably a push. Well, that's even crazy. Imagine passing someone who's like, "Hey," as you're like hard. push mowing in the middle of the street. You just drive past, be like, "Oh, that's <laughs> something on a Monday morning." That is something on a Monday morning. Right. I, I also found this. Um. So, bro was bro was, was taking other things, which is hilarious. He was grabbing other things, and it's like, all right, where are we out? Like, yeah. he... That's what I find hilarious. He said, I'm going to be productive. Or, like... For it, somebody else, I'm going to do some charity. But yeah, I'm going to do some charity before I rob these people. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll treat for them and a treat for me. Treat for them and a treat for me. Treat for me is crazy. <laughs> but, like, what else? What, what else is there to say besides that's hilarious? Maybe he wrote, like, a little design, like a heart in their yard. Just, like, sorry. Just, just no, just the word sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, fam. But you're welcome. <laughs> All right. We're going to have a nice change of pace real quick. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. All right, y'all. Well, here's the thing. As this has been the end, it's the end of an era. It is sadly. Uh, but let's enjoy, you know, it, it's a sad face, big sad face, right? Big sad face. Let's enjoy the the memories of a great season here on the Monday Buzz, respectfully. Yes. The Not best. only that, I don't care what the vote says, we're the best. We yeah, are the best. We're the best buzz. We're along with the themes, and they take our theme. Here's the thing. Ah, oh, that's just my high school. What? I, 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 all right, quick story. So in high school, it was, it was uh, French class. We had this idea. It was me, me and my boy Jake. We had like we had this idea about just having a chant. And we we're the first ones to present, right? We like we had the idea. They executed the idea perfectly. Killed it. We're just sitting there like oh, we're, we're, like we're the, we're the best group, like we're number one group. Then a group, a, a group of uh, a group of a group of these girls in my class, they copied the same idea and it fell flat on their face. Like it, the execution was terrible. They won the, the best group. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's rough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this, you know, you know, you know what's even funnier? You know, you know they, they had uh, superlatives? Yeah. The mm-hmm. superlatives they got, most creative. <laughs> Plagiarism at its finest. Plagiarism <laughs> at its finest. We right. went first, and they Hashtag got most creative. Friday buzz. Oh, T. <laughs> Just kidding. Friday buzz, we love you. But <laughs> Just kidding. We All love you, but. Good fun. We love you very much. Friday Buzz, we love you. Gabby, you're a goat. You are a goat. Terry, you're a goat. Ter- the, Gabby, the, Terry. the girl boss goat, you're a goat, but like. But like, we did we did theme days first, just saying. We started Valentine's Day, which is crazy. Exactly. We started on Valentine's we Day did. and we just ran oh, from wow. there. We've been doing this since February and it's now fully May. I like doing the themes. It gives me an idea to what to wear for that day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for Monday. <laughs> Like, yeah, it, but it, I will say, walking into your English class with a giant blue stripe across your eyes yeah, is Sonic? kind of awkward. When you were Sonic? Sonic cosplay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure, the kids, sure. The kids, the kids see you, Joe. Exactly. Not a boy. <laughs> but, but yeah. listen, I, I want to like, I want to give you know, say say farewell to Megan. Megan, I'm so glad that you took my job. <laughs> I'm so glad, I'm so glad you took my job. You're welcome for taking it. Because I'm sitting like, yo, the, the the I like I don't mind doing I don't mind doing sports cast like, yeah. I don't I don't mind it, but at the same time it's like if I if I'm able to give someone an opportunity to do something, uh, more part more proud of them. I don't I I would not be opposed to it. I'm not be upset about it. Right. So I'm glad I'm glad that you were able to, you were able to be be a part of the of the Monday Buzz family and overall just a part of the of the Morning Buzz family itself. Thanks. And you know, having you be able to give us give us sports news, 
and actually give me someone to talk to about sports outside of Isaiah. Very true. It, it's very nice to have, and I'm gonna I'm gonna miss you here here at the station here overall on campus. Yeah, and I miss you guys. It, it, it's, it's gonna it's, be weird. Mm-hmm. You made me understand sports. For, yeah, for oh, once, welcome. I understand sports. I'm right here. Follow. I think I understand Kim, sports you now. You yell at them if they don't get something right about sports. I just, I okay. Listen, preference. listen. I, it's better to be feared than respected. You're the bad cop. I'm the good cop. How about that? True. Sure. Agreed. Here's the here, here's what I'm the thinking. He's gonna miss you. Yeah. Here's here's what I'm thinking. I'm like I'm like the 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 mad dad, and then you know you're like you're like you're like the, <laughs> the cool you like, like the you like the cool aunt. Yes, I I would love to take. Yes, that is my role, even with my nieces and nephews. I'm the cool aunt. Like, that, 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 like no matter what, it's like I, me 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 yell at the kids, and then you, you just pull up like, hey, listen, be right. be nice, be nice, be nice to my nieces and nephew. Yeah. <laughs> be nice to those kids. Like that, that's, that's, that's 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 what the Monday buzz is. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like we, <laughs> we started out as a daycare center. We literally yes. started as a daycare and we center. We did a family. Aww. Yeah. Aww. Aww. We so, should have our own show. We should, honestly. It'd be great. That would be great. Just, just keeping just, up just on me, a Monday buzz. Just making me, fun just of Cam. Just, yeah. just, Cam just yelling at the three of us. It's, it's, it's the Cam roast session. That, that'd be crazy. Should we, roast. should we do that as a show? <gasps> I feel like. Cam roast? I would roast you. <laughs> Megan already has a <laughs> Yo, if, if, if it was a cam roast. Me and Megan are like ready. Oh boy. I got a list. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I browser is crazy. Like, I browser crazy. Yo, know, like if we, if we had the cam roast session, I think I think you have a, a, a we'd have a show. field day. A three hour show. We we'd have like a three day show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a, three hour, a three hour show twice a week. No, three hour show twice literally. a week. <laughs> like yeah, just how fast they stack up. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, uh, let me put Isaiah back on the mic because, uh, you know, I, I revoked his mic code just because he yeah, vibes. Hold on, Isaiah. You didn't revoke him. You just set, reset the board. That's very true. Yes, Isaiah. Yeah, Ugh, yeah. Finally, Cam. Um, you literally uh, just texted can't believe Isaiah. You just disrespected me by turning off my microphone. <laughs> um, no, too. but I wanted to say um, this part of the show uh, as like, when we first put together like all the rosters, obviously I knew Tuesday was going to be great because they had so much experience together. And then Wednesday, because you know, they have a very handsome host. Um, but Monday it was, um, it was a very interesting experiment because none of you guys had really been together before. And then, yeah. so when we decided to put that together, I knew Cam would definitely be a host because he's been doing the show as long as I have. And then, Joe, I kind of just had a feeling that eventually you would uh, be a good co-host. And I think the thing that I enjoyed the most about this buzz is seeing how you guys started off to where you guys are now. And you've improved so much. Um, And then shout out to also um, Ali and Cassandra, because you guys have been like killing it. And I think you're a great balance with um, with Cam, especially when Cam says something like absolutely absurd. And then Ali's like, Oh, I hear you, but here's why you're wrong. And then Cam just kind of has to like, <laughs> yes, well, yes, sit there actually, and no. take it. Um, so I think honestly, the guys, the natural kind of chemistry you all kind of ended up forming. And then I loved kind of the originality of the theme days because it was something that no one else was doing. Yeah. And uh, you guys had like your own cool thing. And uh, just seeing how much you guys evolved from your first show, because uh, the first show, it was good. You know, it was all right. Uh, but it was like it was, it was very mid. promising it was mid and i knew eventually over time you guys would get the hang of it and you guys definitely did and i'm proud of you guys for all the work that you put in whether it is long nights uh early mornings you know just um, next time yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i appreciate all the work you guys put in and then um you know, Megan wasn't here from the beginning, but she joined randomly. Mm-hmm. Um, and I wish I had asked you because we had a class and I was like, I wasn't sure I if know, you'd be yeah. into it or not. Thanks, but, you know, I, I'm crazy. very glad that to have you on the show, at least now. Um, but yeah, it was a great working along with you, especially in Professor Green's class. Yes. It's definitely an experiment <laughs> definitely, in that class. Yes, um, it is. But yeah, you were just so natural being on the show mm-hmm. and you're funny, you're Thank smart. You. You. And you are graduating. So yeah. whatever you do, you're going to kill it. Thank you. Um, and your time here was very much appreciated. 
and um yeah we wish you the best of luck in the future thank you thank um you. don't lose touch i won't listen if you guys need like a guest i'll sh- for <laughs> sure come on and just like talk sports expert <laughs> megan to give us the updates i will have fun with it but yeah guys i'll give it back to you but i appreciate each and every one of you for all the work you put in this semester thank you isaiah thank, thank, thank you, you isaiah. for everything literally thank you, thank you. i don't know thank how you're being so yeah. patient <laughs> yeah specifically with this crew i don't know how you were you were as patient as you are yes right i I mean that's part of the job though um because at the end of the day like this job you you don't take it just because it's like it's something cool to put on a resume like i produce a morning show like it's cool but i think the best part of it is um seeing the growth of all of you as like on-air people and just as like humans in general because I've seen like all of you guys kind of grow out of your little shells. Uh, each, um, what is that? He's clearly the first zombie. Um, yeah, clearly. Right? <laughs> no, but um, it was a pleasure working with you guys. I don't know if you guys are going to be reunited next semester. I, I can't make any promises because that kind of got me in trouble last semester. Um, but yeah, uh, it was a great run and all you guys are great. Isaiah, appreciate this y'all. is for you for for reuniting people last semester, make promises. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Meanwhile, class, can we can we all get one collective L for me in three, two, one, one for me? We're showing L. Yeah. <laughs> I think Joel. Yeah. For what? For yeah. you? Yeah, just for me. Why? Sigh of a get out. Think. Because you know, as much as I always say things, I pro. Uh, if we ha- we were a superlative for most L's by anybody, you, 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 yeah. just, just hands down, and it's you. It's an honor. <laughs> is that is it? Is it though? Is it? And it's one <laughs> special way, I guess. Listen, I just got I just got to thank the people. Uh, thank you for everything you've done, of giving me the uh the L's. You know, shout out to the academy. You know, you guys are able to. <laughs> you, you people were able to look out for me. Uh, on top of that, you know, shout shout out Will Smith. <laughs> I was going to (laughs) keep my wife's name. Okay, I was going to keep my name out your L's. I was going to. I did not like that. I didn't like that either. See, see, if we weren't on air, I don't know. There'll be be other things. There things to say, but that's not the point. Yeah. Final L. Yeah. Can I? Can I give one more L? One more L in the chat, please. L. L in the chat. One more on the chat. L's for Cam. I'm so slow. Oh, man. oh, we have to type it. Hold on. <laughs> yep. I, I, I'm just seeing L's, L, a, a, a face with an L. So many L's. <laughs> so, yes. I, what, what's Monday Buzz about me taking L's? True. Yeah, it's nothing. Or Christmas music, even yeah. though that's only been around Two weeks. for one week. That, turned into, that, turned, into our, it, that turned into our thing for the last two yeah. weeks. Yes, I will say it's a memory. Last week was probably one of the best days ever on Monday because I was just so happy from listening to Christmas music. Mm-hmm. You were over the moon. You I were. was like so happy. It was adorable how excited we were. That and then night, we all matched the energy. It was great. That we literally night, sang I on puzzle. air. I was doing, I'm a huge puzzle person and I did an online puzzle and I was looping Believe by Josh Grobin. Like, I can't even really? tell you the amount of times, but I was just in the Christmas spirit. Listen, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say for the Christmas spirit, but like, can we do can we do it like a you got you guys know Billy Joel the longest time? Yeah. I love Billy Joel. I saw him in concert in March. I so, saw him in 2019. Would, would you guys be opposed? Would you guys be opposed if we if we if we sang the for the longest time? No, no. I would have to look up the lyrics. Yeah, me too. Let's look up the lyrics. <sighs> it's a what is it called again? For longest. the longest time. Well, the longest time is the official title of the song. <clears throat> for the longest time. Whoa, whoa. All right, what I'm, about, what I'm gonna do, Isaiah, you got you got uh just just spend around this. I'll send you, I'll send you everything for it. Do we not have it in? Do no. we not have it? No, which is very surprising, right? Oh, I'm just, yeah, that is shocking. Why this song? Of because all song? it's yeah. it's a good song to it's a good karaoke song. <laughs> that's just the only reason. That's the only reason. Also, it's Billy Joel. Like, hold on, hold on. I love Billy Joel. 
I love the neutral. All right, y'all ready? Yes. <clears throat> Get your singing voices ready, pals. <laughs> the anticipation. Hold up. <clears throat> ready? Yes. One, two, oh, one, two, three. Whoa! Oh, 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 I don't have the music. Oh, 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 we don't have the music. Oh, this thing, one. No, we're not doing that. It's actually no, exciting. No, no. Cam, can we? Can we do this with all three? I just got, I'm like hot now. We're ready to like, oh boy. Okay, can we? None of us were expecting that. The fear in my face is when that happened. When he started counting, I was like, what? I was like, I was like, is he, is he, is he playing? I'm so scared. I was like, is he counting down from you? Ah, uh, oh yeah, just da, 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 da. yes. Oh, no, 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 my no. goodness, this, this, <laughs> this is why this is why the villain of the Monday buzz. My heart is yes. pounding yeah. after just having to do it. <laughs> this is why the villain of the Monday buzz, respectfully. Not, not at all. Not even. Not even. That don't was, even get respectfully oh for that. No, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> Well, <laughs> guys, we only have a minute together. Well, oh. I, I want to say I love working with you guys. I was going to say that um, too, yeah. I never thought I'd be doing this. I don't really know what to expect coming into it this semester because I didn't know Joe. I didn't really know Kim. The only person I knew was Cassandra. And then obviously mm -hmm. Megan came in. And I've just like really enjoyed working with all of you and getting to know all of you. And it's been fun. I miss our family. And I just want to say, you guys are great. Thank you guys for taking me in on such late notice. I appreciate all of you. And I hope you guys have the best college career. Um, take every opportunity. Please do not take anything for granted. I love you guys. And yeah. Don't forget us. Jumps. I will never forget you guys. Yeah. You guys are so sweet. I, I thank I love the, the family that we've made. And Megan, Actually, wait, wait, Megan, 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 you want to hit us with the top of the hour? Top of the hour. For your last buzz. Uh, uh. I need a script. <laughs> okay. Just say the station ID. Okay. Um, this is uh, WMSC uh, 90.3 Upper Montclair. Upper Montclair. <laughs> 90.3 WMSC Upper Montclair. Thank you. Yay, man, yay. yay. Thanks, guys. Joe, you have any final thoughts? Uh, thank all of you for uh, being here with us. And all of you for being my lovely, the, the lovely crew that we've formed over this semester. Um, it's it's weird not going to be waking up at 5 a.m. every morning to do this. But, <laughs> you say uh, that. Definitely be catching Z's, though. I will yeah. definitely be catching Z's. <laughs> yeah, people will see me next time. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the Monday buzz. And honestly... How about one, one more L for one more L for, for the good people? So just put just put the L, L's on the screen. No, thank you guys for listening to the Monday Buzz all semester. We had a really fun time, and I appreciate really appreciate it with this crew. Love you guys. Love you too. Love you too. Yeah. yeah. But I'll see I'll see you you hooligans sometime this week, or I'll see you on the summer buzz. So, uh, deuces. Bye. Peace Bye. out, Girl Scout. Bye.